Hello everyone, this is Jade and we are back with Founder's Fortune. Now, we had a little incident when I was trying to record an episode last night. Um, somehow the plug for my mic came unplugged. Not enough to turn the light out, but enough that nothing was recognizing it. So I ended up actually losing um, that video. I mean, there was no audio and... Yeah, well, I mean, I had game audio, but that was it. And it's like, okay, yeah, we'll just start over again. We had not that much happened. We had uh, some more goblins that attacked. Oops, I think we still, yeah, have a goblin over here that we need to um, bury. Let's go ahead and let these guys do their thing. I don't know if we have an empty grave over here or not. So I'm going to put another one down here. Throw these in darn goblins so we are at summer uh, we did manage to get some wheat I uh, traded with the trader and I was able to trade him some ore and I was had enough to get some wheat so we were actually able oops, to uh, make some beer because it takes three wheat three pumpkin and two wood and I've got pumpkin but wheat was the only thing I was missing because we don't have any wheat fields yet. We do have, I did put up some soil for wheat and we're actually gonna hopefully grow this uh, when the time comes, uh, which is actually now. Yep. Yeah, why don't you come over here? I want, oh, he doesn't have enough experience as a farmer. Well, that kind of sucks. I was hoping to actually get some of that going. I want you to harvest those tomatoes and you need to get started on these potatoes. Um, so we did lose a few people. We lost our farmer, obviously. So we're going to have to train some of these people back up again. Now, this is also going to be, um, the last episode in, with this colony. Because the family update comes out tomorrow. Or it's probably today when you're watching this video. So family update, they're adding kids. Uh, they're they're going to age and just die of old age and apparently there's a hidden elixir that will i think it i don't know if it's temporarily but actually i think it will decrease their age or something like that but you have to find it i don't know if it's somewhere in like the menus or if it's hidden somewhere on the map because i think they said most people probably won't find it but it is there somewhere so we're going to start over with that. I don't know if uh, it'll be compatible with this particular save anyway. So I figured we'd play around with this a little bit more and see what we can do. Um, Lucas is a new one. and He's actually, I think, the first male uh, colonist that we've had. I think the rest have all been female. So he wants to sit on a chair. Uh, I don't even know where he is at. Where is he? he he's Where did he go? Lucas, Lucas, where'd you go? I don't know where he's at. Um, actually, let's see if he can go out and construct that and then we, we can have yeah. Burgett. Uh, there may be one there, but let's have her remove that equipment. I don't know if we can get anything out of it. And then go ahead and bury him. Because if anything, maybe we can sell the stuff if they've got like clubs or whatever. So he's got these buried or dug. So there is a place to actually put them. Um, you go ahead and harvest the rest of these tomatoes. We do have, we've got one potato. Okay. Now, I don't think we're running too low here on raw food storage. Because we got a max of 170, so we're we're like what halfway there, maybe. I would like to get these herbs. I don't know if we can. Let's see, we got cotton stockpile, hanging herbs. So we're gonna go ahead and let's put this in the corner. Is that I'm not sure. Maybe that's just the back right there. We'll just put one right there. And then we might be able to get somebody else to actually go back. Oh, we need some materials. 28 cotton. Do I even have any? Oh, yeah, I do. 
19 tomatoes? Seriously, dude? Fine. I don't need you attacking anymore. All right. We got plenty of tomatoes anyways. I think he's going to bed. Yeah, they're all in bed right now. So I guess when they talk bedroom, it's whatever room their bed is in. I was hoping that it would be like the whole house, but apparently it is not. Which kind of sucks. I probably need to get some more of that kind of stuff out there. The goblins had also broken down one of these, so I had to put build another one of those. Oh, you're just going, going ham on the ore. All right. Now, I think these are healing herbs. So we're going to go ahead and have him go out and uh, gather that stuff. Again, I don't know why, because, you know... We gonna start getting used to some of this stuff anyway. Simone, what are you doing? Are you just sitting around? You want a big payday and you're not getting a big play payday. I'm sorry. Do you have a home? I don't even know if you have a home and you are the doctor. I don't think anybody had anything here. So we've got Penelope, Lucas, Bridget. All right. So let's figure out what is the best room I don't know what that is. Clothes storage. Well, let's put her in here. All right. All right, so you're satisfied with that. Now let's get you here. All right. So we've got one bed left for whoever we get next. You're not going to get a payday. You want a place to store weapons. I don't even know if you have any weapons. We probably need to make more. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have you take that. I think we already had you take ownership. Okay, so I think one is clothes and one is armor. Okay. Now, do we have... We can put a stone club in there, or we could sell it for 120 coins, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you a stone club. And we're going to keep all this stuff, obviously, down here so that it's easier for them to get a hold of. I don't think they actually need any... Okay, we don't have any equipment available. And I don't think anybody's busy chopping anything right now. We put up a beer barrel. They can start a party if they have... So you need 100 coins, 24 food, and 24 beer in stock. So we only built that because the pirates, and they only needed one. So luckily we got that. What is... Huh. I wonder that almost looks like it's reflecting from somewhere. We still need this research. We've got to get... I don't know why she's not researching. Your crystal stockpile's full. Why are you not researching anything? Get up there and does it... What? Analyze scroll. Well, all right. So now I have to make scrolls? How do I do that? <laughs> see work mason's workshop so we still need a mason uh yeah i don't know scrolls offer a lot of secrets but we'd have to find them or buy them maybe i don't know storage tables decoration well it's a good question shelf for baked food so I don't think we need any more of this. We've got all that up. Training dummies. Maybe we should probably, maybe we should put up some training dummies. But where do we want to put those? Maybe we can throw a couple of those up here. And then maybe they can work on those. So what if we put like one here? And we'll put one over here. 
they can work on training. Now, granted, we don't have anybody right now that has uh, has combat capability. I mean, they can all fight, but we don't have a dedicated combat person. Somebody wanted a chest in their room. Now, there's a simple wooden chest. Who was that? That was Burgett. Okay, so we need to find her room. It's like I swear I need to make a um, need to make a, a floor plan or something on paper of where everybody's stuff is. Where'd that go? So we can give you a simple little chest. And we'll just put that right there. Okay, you are planting. We are in. Okay, we're almost to fall. So yeah, you need to get those going. Why don't you come up here and construct this, somebody? I wonder if we should actually get more cotton, too. I really need him to keep going with whatever, though. Get a bookshelf. Okay, in her house. So I guess that's different. Who wants... Penelope wants a bookshelf in her house. So I guess it probably doesn't matter but can we build another one let's see okay got a trader not enough wood okay so somebody needs to get out there we do not have anybody chopping wood actually penelope that would probably be a better job for you right now if you go out there and chop some wood Simone, you can actually go out there and probably chop some wood as well because you don't have anything else to do. Actually, I should have you studying. And what is your problem? See, this is, they get kind of stuck. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh... All right. Yeah, I don't know. They get stuck, and it's like they don't know where to go, and I think that's part of the problem with the okay. stairs. So I don't know if I can kind of try and lead her down somehow. Oh, there she goes. So it's just like there's some, uh, I think there's just a bug or something in there where they just, they get caught up by the stairs somehow. And I think that's what happened. We had uh, with the with the death that we had, because she couldn't get out. It, it was just a bug. <clears throat> Excuse me. You probably don't have anything that we even want. I'm not sure what you're doing. Yep. Why don't you come over here and talk to this guy? It is okay. It's the last day of summer. Where are you? Where are you at? Yep. Lucas, you need to get out here and sow these potatoes. All right. So this is what we could sell. Wow. Beer sells for 15. We have three in storage. And then we could buy other stuff. So if we could start making clothes and stuff. I mean, we could sell stuff. We could buy a scroll if we had the money. So we need to figure out how to make scrolls. Unless this is the, I'm hoping this is not the only way that we can get our hands on them. So pumpkins sell for decent. See, the iron ore sells for five each. Let's go ahead and sell just a couple. So... We'll sell 10. All right. And where is our, does this tell us how much we have? This here. Just a save for small coins. Well, we've got 58 right here. All right. And we're going to get somebody... 
on well we try to get somebody on this but i don't don't know that we're going to make it through fall anyway we have enough wood yet we only have 70 and penelope wanted a bookshelf which is fine because this is how they're going to learn So Simone, I don't know what you're doing, but why don't you come up here? I don't even know where you are. Oh, you weren't too far. Penelope, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. So we can also get some stuff going here. Um, I don't know if we have an apprentice miner's clothes. We've got farmer, doctor. Mm. we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Maybe we'll put another, oh, we need advanced tailoring for that stuff. If we put something else in there, these things sell for like 200 coins. So actually it might be a good idea to do those. Can we do two of those? We need 80 cotton. All right. Well, let's start off with that. Because that might actually be the armor. So I wonder if they would run over there and just switch. Yeah. All right, Lucas, you're doing that. Penelope's sleeping. Um, Simone, can you come over here and maybe gather up some of this cotton? And you want a chest in your room. I don't think we have enough wood for that. Mm -hmm. Lucas just wants to sit in a chair. Yeah. Everybody wants a chest in their room, it looks like. Now, Bridget wants... A flower pot in her room and I could have sworn she had one but you know what I think uh, somebody I think Penelope went on a rampage and it was just breaking things and she probably came in here and actually broke this so we'll just put another one in and Bridget why don't you go up there and, and build your build your thing there Lucas is moving along with the farming And you want to discover architecture one, but we, we need two more points for this. And then we could actually grow herbs. But I'm not sure why. Okay, because we need two scrolls. So we need to figure out how to make scrolls. So I don't know, does that come with uh, architecture of some sort? Log fortification, clean wood wall, scales, traditional window shutters. I don't see anything for making them. So I'm wondering if we actually have to sell stuff and buy those. Because I'm not seeing anything in here. As I'm looking at it, I'm not seeing it. So we're, we'll just remove it off of that for now. It'll stay until we can at least get some scrolls. So it is now fall. Yeah. And Lucas, I want you... You don't have enough. That's right. You probably could have done it before. You don't have enough. You need to study. Now you're halfway there. How's everybody else doing? Yep. You, yeah, you're not even close. And you, Simone, I think that at this point, um, why don't you learn about medicine? That may be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you mad about? Oh, whatever. You know, you could go read. So eventually, I think the goal is going to have to be to have a bookshelf in everybody's room. Mm -hmm. I don't think... Uh, oh, she's got three stars in it. So... Maybe what we should do... Yep. Is have her come up to her room. And she should start studying something else. What else can you study? You could learn about crafting, researching. Um, I 
I want you to you go ahead and learn about medicine. If you'll get up there and do that. All right. So you're researching architecture. So that'll give us wooden doors, wooden windows, shutters, pillars, parquet, carpet, a natural wooden wall, overlapping wooden wall, and log fortification. Yeah, you can see here, family update. All right. Now, is there anything else? Military. Have you guys actually built that stuff? You did. So. Yeah. Let's send him over. See if we can get him to train for combat. He's a little mad, but. I just want to see if they'll do it. <laughs> what the heck are you hitting him with? You got, he's hitting him with the. Uh, let me see. Yeah, he's hitting him with the watering can. All right. Yeah, you you go, go for it, dude. Yeah, you're just releasing some steam. And I wonder if that is actually helpful for them releasing some steam. Now, I think that probably we also need to make some more swords at this point. And, of course, we don't have any more wood. So... The idea here, I think, is to probably get... You can have, like, 11 colonists total, I think, is the limit. And they're increasing that to 13 because they'll be kids. So, yeah. You probably need to get everybody in there and going. Yeah. Because you got one, two, three, four, five. So you got at least six jobs. Right now, you have six jobs. So if you have 12, you know, 13 people, that could probably potentially give you like two people on each job. Maybe you can actually gather stuff in a little bit better, but oh good, we got another migrant. Um, somebody. Lucas is mad. I don't think I want to send Lucas. Can you go accept this migrant, please? Here, speed it up a little bit. And then that migrant will have an extra room. Colonists joined. Yep. Bernard. Bernard Roth. All right. Well, we'll have you accept that. And then you can um, take ownership of that. You can take ownership of that. And that. All right. So right now that gives you everything that's in here. I am, um, I don't even know what you just picked up to wear. I don't even know what your job is. What did you pick up, dude? Apprentice Forester's clothes. Are you a forester? Or did you just go in and grab them because that was what was there? You're a farmer. Um, well, you might be better. What's Lucas? Lucas is, okay. Well, you know what, Bernard? Um, crap. We're going to make you a farmer. Because your next level, you can actually sow wheat. Yep. So we're going to make Lucas. We're going to change him to a forester. So now... Um... I need to find somebody. Let's see, that's Penelope. This middle one should be... Lucas, you really need to put those clothes back. And I think Bernard also needs to put those clothes back. Is this Bernard's room here? I want you to put those back. I don't know if they will put those back. Um, let's see. Bernard... Where is Lucas? I think... Ugh. I do. I, I need a thing. That's Simone. Yep. So this is Bernard. And Lucas is right next to him. Okay. It's Bernard. Lucas. How am I going to do this? 
I'd really like him to put those back, but he's not going to. All right, whatever. Can I make you put your clothes back? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I really wish he wouldn't have gone in there and just grabbed those, but am I looking at the wrong thing? And I don't think I am. Oh, well. I, okay, there we go. Now we've got some more stuff. We got scales carpet pattern. What is that? Oh, okay. So we need cotton for that. Modern black carpet with scales. Well, that's cool. But we're gonna need a lot of cotton. But can we make like little rugs maybe? Kind of like, uh, I'm gonna do this. Kind of like that. Or do I have to take this floor out first? Or do I not have any cotton? I got 75 cotton. I wonder if I have to... Do I have to remove this floor or what? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll figure that out. Ornamental wooden doors. Allows your colonists to enter while keeping... Okay. Well, they all do. I guess it's just the way they look. We have nicer looking windows, though. Let's take 14 wood. Well, I think we're still a little bit low on wood. Uh, okay, so we can... Log fortification. So we could put a palisades up and kind of slow these goblins when they come in. Kind of slow them down a little bit. But they're just going to come through the trees. And we need to spread out a little bit, probably up here. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, yeah. You want to relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants chests and armor yeah. stands. You want a place to store tools. Don't you have a place to store tools, lady? I could have sworn you had a spot. Did somebody tear your stuff up again? All right. So yeah, trying to keep these guys happy is. Well, let's put one here. And since you want it, why don't you go construct it? And we'll see what else we can do here for research. We need furniture, stone in order to get advanced cooking. So we probably need to study decoration. Well, but masonry. Will give us a mason's workshop. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, purge it. Um, yeah. yeah, you take ownership. So that'll make you happy. Didn't somebody just want to sit? Maybe he already did. Bernard wants to relax. Well, can I tell you to just relax? I'm not sure how to tell them to relax. Does that make you... That no, doesn't make you feel any better. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we've got two mm -hmm. points here. Can we do anything with you? Tireless. So she doesn't need much sleep. Well, that might not be too bad. Experienced in battle. That would definitely be helpful. So an optimist... I'm not concerned about these ones here. Um, but if she only sleeps as much, let, let's let's go ahead and add that. We might be able to get a little bit more done if she's out and about doing stuff. And Bernard. Well, I think we missed the. We don't have enough. Oh, that's right. He needs more. 
But why don't you go harvest these? Uh, really? For beer? No, forget it. It's not going to end well with you. Never mind. We will not do anything for you. You're going to regret this. We'll see about that. Okay. So harvest potatoes. Pirates have landed on the coast. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, I guess this will be a fitting way to end this colony. Uh, everybody go into combat mode. Guys need to hurry up. Oh, they broke right through the wall. Where did she go? Because it looks like they have, like, stone tools. Or, and then we get a bug infestation. Well, that's just fantastic. Pirates have attacked. Okay, but you're beating on him with... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you, like, the pirate captain or something? That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Whoa. Okay, so I guess you shouldn't turn the pirates down until you have lots of colony colonists... Lots of weapons. What are you doing up here? You are just wrecking everything. Oh, his head stuck in the wall. <laughs> Alright, so I guess they're going to just tear the place apart. Look at that. They took out the bed. Pirates are rude, man. He took out my walls. You're going to take out... Are you working on taking... You're going to kill my well... Too bad we can't blast your ship. Hey, that's a migrant ship. That doesn't say it's a pirate ship. Jerks. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and end that here. I don't think they're going to necessarily kill the colonists, but um, they're just unconscious right now. From the looks of it. And Penelope, what are you doing? Penelope, go fight this guy. I was going to end it, but let, let's at least wait till we get this, this other one knocked out. There you go. Fight them. Fight them. Can you knock out the captain? No, because they're going to come over here and beat you up now, too. Now you got bleeding wounds. What? What? Did, did you? <laughs> knocked her right up to the second floor. Wow. That was some hit. So she's going to bleed for a while. Did somebody else? I don't know. Well, they're, they're, they're destroying everything. So we're going to go ahead and end that here. But, you know, joke's on you pirates because we were going to be starting a new colony the next time anyway. And that's what we're going to do. So when I get to recording again um, for the next episode, we'll start a new colony. We'll have the new update will be out which is the family update, as I've said. So there's going to be different kind of interactions between them. They will be able to have children and they will age. They can die of old age as well. So we'll see how that goes and we'll see if there's any other stuff that's been added, you know, whether it's uh, furniture or anything else. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.